Sid, you remember the julep I bought three years back? Yeah. And I'm planning to surrender it. Already? Why is that? Sid, you know how the markets are going. The value of my funds have already decreased. And I don't want income or losses. Listen, are you sure you want to surrender it? Of course. I had a word with my advisor. And he recommended me a policy that will give me guaranteed returns. Irrespective of how volatile the markets are. You know, Gautam, I was in the same situation five years ago. Really? And you also sold your policy, na? No. In fact, my advisor suggested that I should stay with the policy. And I did. And I bet you must be regretting it today. Oh, yes, I do. I regret not having invested more money in the policy at that time. Just a second. What do you mean to say? See, the markets tend to fluctuate in the short term. But if somehow you can tie through this phase, na, eventually you get higher returns, like I did. You mean to say you got lucky, huh? Not just lucky. I got good advice. Since the charges decreased after the first three years, the more premium I paid, the more money got invested in the market every year. You think I shouldn't sell my policy? I think you should wait and think about it. But right now, let's not wait. Our flight's being announced. Come. Let's move. Hello, Mr. Shah. Uh, Mr. Shah, remember that policy I was talking about surrendering yesterday? Well, um, I want to hold on to it for some more time. Why? You can say that um, I want to think about it. And maybe find out something more. Sid, you remember the Yulip I had bought three years ago? Yeah. When I'm planning to surrender it. Already? But why? Why? Because I've finished the login period. I think I should try something new. These days, there are a wide range of policies available. Sad. That would be a real loss. Loss? Loss of what? Actually, not a loss. Double loss. Loss of time and loss of money. Just a second, my dear friend. What are you talking about? I have heard that as I have finished my lock-in period, there are hardly any charges. So I think you're completely wrong. There's no loss. Just think about it. If you go in for a new policy, that too will come with its lock-in period. Of course. So essentially, you're blocking your money for a period of eight years. Now, doesn't that make the three years you've already invested in this policy a loss of time? Yeah, actually, I didn't think of that. And the most important thing which my advisor told me about, that whether you exit the policy now or stay on to it for the full term, you've already paid the maximum charges in these three years. Yeah. So that means you'll have to pay these charges all over again for a new policy. Now, doesn't that make the charges you've already paid for your old policy a loss of money? I didn't think of that either. So you see, my friend, breaking your old policy for a new one is really not wise. You have got it all worked out. It seems like... I have some thinking to do. And I think we should go. Because if we miss our flight now, we'll both lose a lot of time and a lot of money. So let's go. You're right. Genius. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Shah. Oh, Mr. Shah, remember that policy I was talking about surrendering yesterday? Well, um, I want to hold on to it for some more time. Why? You can say that um, I want to think about it. And maybe find out something more. Sid, you remember the Yulip I had bought three years ago? Yeah. Well, I'm planning to surrender it. Already? But why? Because I need some cash urgently. And why are this investment for? 
to help you in time of your need. Gautam, it's a big sacrifice. I feel you should think about it before you take this step. Just a second. Sacrifice? What kind of sacrifice? See, ULIP is a long-term investment. It's an investment for your family's future. By selling your policy now, you'll be sacrificing your tomorrow for your today. Yeah, maybe, but what should I do about the money that I need today? My friend, you need to figure out a few things first. For one, what kind of urgency are you in? And is it really that pressing? And second, have you thought of any alternate ways of raising money? What kind of alternate ways? You must be having some deposits, yeah. You can dip into those. Yeah, I do have, but I don't think so that will be sufficient. Okay, maybe some short-term investments too. Yeah, I, I do have. And the remaining you can borrow from your friends and relatives. So this way you can take care of your short-term needs. You mean without sacrificing the long-term future of my family? And <laughs> let's not sacrifice the flight we have to catch either. Let's go. You're right. Genius. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Shah. Well, Mr. Shah, remember that policy I was talking about surrendering yesterday? Well, um, I want to hold on to it for some more time. Why? You can say that um, I want to think about it. And maybe find out something more.